I'm here today with the second edition of Scientific Writing 2.0. It's a bestseller from World Scientific, and I have here with me the author, Mr. Jean-Luc Lebrun. And if that name sounds French, it's because it is. Uh, it's nice to have you with you on our show. Thank you. I wanted to ask you a few questions about the book. Um, first of all, I thought to write a book like this, you'd have to have extensive knowledge of the scientific field. Can you chronicle your experiences and uh, your expertise? Well, I uh, started, I've been working for 15 years with Apple Computer, and on behalf of Apple, I ran a research center in Singapore called the Apple ISS Research Center, Apple, and then the Institute of uh, System Sciences in Singapore. Uh, so I've been in research and surrounded by scientists uh, much of my life. Okay, thank you. Um, every book has a story. I mean, it has to start somewhere. What, what is your impetus for writing this? Why did you want to actually create this guide for other scientists? Yeah, I've always kind of been a good writer, but does that mean that I, did I know that I was going to write a book on scientific writing? No. Uh, it happened uh, in 2000 uh, when a director approached me uh, as I was, uh, had left uh, academia and the research and went uh, for another part of my career. And the director of my old establishment approached me and said, um, you know, I spent so much time writing and rewriting the work and the, the papers of my uh, researchers. I wish there would be an, an easier way. Could you do anything about that? I mean, could you, could you kind of train them how to, do, uh, how to write better scientific papers? And that was the start, and that was uh, in the year 2000. And, uh, and one, actually, and then uh, after training uh, a large number of scientists in 2007, based on what I learned, uh, I, I, the first book in World Scientific came out, and now uh, in 2011, uh, so it's uh, basically four years later comes the second version of the book after I train now about 2,400 scientists from all walks of life in engineering sciences, life sciences, computer sciences, uh, uh, you name it. Okay. Uh, there are many guys out there currently, though, for scientific writing. What is it about your book that you would say makes it different from the rest of the competition? <laughs> That's very true. There are a large number of books on technical writings and scientific writing. Uh, but uh, I'm delighted to uh, be able to add uh, to uh, what has been published already, uh, taking into uh, consideration uh, my life, basically. You know, a book is always personal, right? And so what happened is that I worked, I've mentioned, uh, with Apple for 15 years, and I was surrounded by the gurus of, uh, of a human interface. And if you think about it, a book is a human interface between you, the scientist who's writing, to an audience of readers, basically, who can benefit from what you have done. And so it's very important to have the correct interface and to particularly take into consideration, just like Apple did for its computers, take the user, take, in this case, the reader into consideration. So using all my human factors, uh, learning, uh, I pretty much considered, so what is it that we can do, we, the writer, we can do to make the life of the reader more productive so, so that they don't struggle with our scientific writing and uh, discovered many things actually in the process and I added in a sense to the genre and I'm uh, thankful to my mentors, uh, all of these uh, talented uh, scientists from Apple who actually uh, uh, gave me this, uh, this uh, background in human factors. Uh, this is the second edition of the book, the first one being a bestseller and hopefully the second one also. Uh, can you talk about the differences between the two versions? The second edition has a DVD. Uh, the DVD contains uh, a tool. I mean, there's no such tool existing worldwide, I know because I checked, uh, which is free, uh, which is public domain, and uh, which we are enhancing. This tool is a Java application. It was um, uh, done with the assistance of uh, talented scientists from the University of Joensu in Finland. And so this tool actually helps the scientist. Uh, you just run your paper into the tool, and the tool gives you some diagnostics. And all the diagnostics are more understood, of course, if uh, uh, you have uh, uh, read the book, and then you can really make sense of uh, these uh, messages that the tool gives you. But anyway, the tool uh, allows you to assess yourself, your own scientific paper, your title, and particularly the structure, you know, the headings, subheadings, because if you have 
a, a, a bad skeleton, uh, pretty much, or, or a loose skeleton where the parts don't really fit well, your, your paper doesn't have a body, doesn't have a, a, the correct frame, and, and it feels like it, and it lacks clarity, it could be anybody's paper, uh, it lacks focus, and so all of these things are basically, again, an addition to the genre, uh, and adding a computer uh, software here, which uh, for PC, Mac, and Unix workstations, which allows you to assess your own paper is something absolutely new and useful, uh, if I take into account the feedback already given by a number of people who have used the tool. I can clearly see how this book would be useful to scientists and others who are looking to publish scientific papers, such as uh, perhaps academic students. Uh, but would this book also be applicable to other target markets, such as um, teachers, institutions who want to train others in scientific writing? Oh, absolutely. Um, if, uh, if you don't mind, can I borrow my book just a second? <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, at the end of the part of the each part of the paper, there's a Q&A, uh, which is added that was not in the previous edition. Uh, but this, in particular, there's uh, one section, which is the title metrics or the introduction metrics. So there's a number of metrics there, uh, which, which are uh, questions that uh, whether you answer yes or no uh, enables you to assess whether you did a good job or uh, you could improve. And actually, these metrics have been, most of them have been embedded uh, and are assessed with the tool. Uh, so, um, but these metrics are definitely a good tool uh, for um, teachers in uh, writing uh, to actually uh, uh, ask their students, okay, uh, run your paper by the metrics, stuff like this. And so, yep, um, I, there's lots of examples as well, so which makes it uh, ideal for teaching material. And uh, as well, there are some uh, uh, exercises in each chapter. Whenever you see the, the picture of a, a man kind of uh, thinking like the, uh, the sculpture of Rodin, you know, and it says, well, read your paper. Are you repeating details? If you are, if I so, so, do you feel that with us? And so on. So a number of questions uh, which are scattered all around the paper, which are uh, things that, uh, of course, a teacher could ask uh, the uh, participants of their class to actually do at that time. OK, thank you very much for your time. I actually look forward to using the tool for my own papers. Thank, thank you. you very much.